All right, well, now it's time to talk about All Wheels Wrestling. I heard that so much. <laughs> Showing fucking cars setting on fire. <laughs> I thought this was going to be more like Crush Hour, and then I opened it, and I was like, oh, this is just TNA <laughs> with cars. <laughs> I it, dude, if it was dr wrestlers doing racing and like that's what I thought we were gonna watch. Oh I was like, oh my god, they're gonna rate. They're gonna get together with like the X Game dudes and do some oh like monster truck. They that debated awesome. you, dude. You got yeah. Debated. They it said I got the they big air challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the human cyclone, baby. Oh I yeah, awesome air Yeah. So, uh, all fucking wheels wrestling. I where the rubber meets the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tony. That's true. <laughs> they recorded one show. This is the pilot episode that they recorded, and then they never did anything ever again. It must have uh, never got picked up, I'm assuming, right? They just I would love Oh, supposedly it aired on Speed TV. What the mm -hmm. fuck? <laughs> what, is, what is Speed TV? Sp oh, Speed was a sports oriented cable and satellite television network that was owned by Fox Sports Media Group. Uh, network was dedicated to motorsports programming, including auto racing. So this is what TNA was trying to... They were trying to get that kind of fan. Probably fucking Hermie Sadler. Stupid yes. ass idea. <laughs> it was Hermie Sadler and Jeff Jarrett, I think, idea behind Shout this Shout out to Jeff thing, Jarrett. Maybe. Or maybe Boris. Yeah, that's too. true. Yeah. Um, this was filmed on June 29th, 2011. Uh, and it feels very TNA 2011. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, yes it, it does. does. Uh, it was taped at the Impact Zone in Universal Studios. No. Wrong. No. no. Oh, where did they say it was Tony, from? Tell the them Red where it's from. Line Arena. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's Red Line, baby. <laughs> excuse me. I Give apologize. Give me the Red Line. <laughs> <laughs> so, the intro was very even TNA. The always wrestling intro. It just felt like this felt like a TNA show in another universe. <laughs> Dude, the song they used in the cold open was Suffer by. Head pee. <laughs> <laughs> you remember cool. this song, right? This song I definitely suffer. remember it. Suffer. By head, head pee. pee. Shout out to head pee. <laughs> <laughs> TNA's favorite band. <laughs> head pee. So there was a lot to take in here. Uh, they start the show with the All Wheels Wrestling intro, uh, and it, it then they cut to like interview. <laughs> <laughs> Shifting to different gears. Shifting then they turbo. Cut, I feel like the first like five minutes of the show where they're interviewing like motorsports people. This uh, is Elliot Sadler, and you're watching All Wheels Wrestling. Yeah, this is Chad Reed, and you're watching All Wheels Wrestling. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's I, all I, we did like, I did like that one dude, Cameron Steele. He was the dude promoting. He just he, he was actually was that the one it. that looked like Rob Deerdeck? <laughs> yes, that guy with the hat, with yeah, the monster hat. Dude, Rob Deerdeck should have been on this and big. <laughs> I agree with that. I definitely would have been awesome. If they did a Fantasy Factory company, that'd be sick. Was it Skate 2 where you could hire Big to come through and like... I think, I it, think was, it was, yeah. Skate 2, yes. Dude, that ruled. Yeah, like, get the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so this was meant to be like an actual season, obviously. And you'll if you watch this episode, you'll figure that out because they do a lot of points stuff here. Um, Jeremy Bor oh, JB, Jeremy Borash <laughs> and Don West on commentary. So I was fired up for that because those, those are the big men. Um... So they introduce all of the teams. There's four teams. There were supposed to be four teams of three, uh, but on this episode they only show the team captains. So and I everybody I works guess. twice. So the yes. idea, <laughs> the idea of this is that everyone's going to be in a team, and then there's going to be like a cup at the end, sort of like racing. Dub <laughs> cup. <laughs> oh, they, they showed for that. the trophy. They yeah, showed the yes, trophy. They did. Yeah, it was kind of nice. Um, so the teams are as follows: Team Octane, which is led by team captain RPM. Mm. Jay, Jay Lethal in a mask. <laughs> the best mask. So, they uh, Team Octane was uh, stock cars, open wheel drag racing. That was what that team represented. It was inspired by all of that. Oh, uh, yes. They love it. If you can't uh, catch us, you can't win. <laughs> is that what it is? They they can't ca that's what Jay Lethal said. Yeah, if you can't catch us, <laughs> hey, you can't win. That's not Jay Lethal. That's RPM. That's, yeah. That's JR Lethal. JR Lethal. <laughs> <laughs> why they? Why so they... please explain this JR Lethal thing, James. He okay, was, yeah, yeah. So uh, they on the show he's RPM, but they yes. have B roll that they recorded, obviously. <laughs> yeah. And one of them has <laughs> a, a vest that says Lethal on it. So I was like, why in the world did it say Lethal and then it says RPM here? Well, apparently his name was supposed to be JR Lethal. 
But that sucked. <laughs> that sucked. That was killed my career. <laughs> so now he's RPM and the speed yes. kills. Do, 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 he did do, say do. speed kills. <laughs> yeah, he said that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> There's also uh, Team Defiance, which uh, was the team captain is Dubai. Yep. Yeah, I don't really have also, anything to say here. Davari. <laughs> Davari. 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 Sean Davari. Is, and they, this dude... I don't Dubai. even know why he was in TNA, man. <laughs> like, no, they really, they saw what he did in WWE and said, you know what? Do it again. <laughs> How about a little more? <laughs> yeah. This is unbelievable, man. He came out, uh, oh, Team Defiance were, uh, was the off-roading team. Uh, off-roading, drifting, and street racing inspired Team Defiance. Team Defiance led by... So he dressed up like he was in the army. Dubai. Yeah, he came out in like a bulletproof vest. <laughs> Damn it, dude. <laughs> Poor Davari, man. What this guy give can't get this away man from something this. else <laughs> other than this, man. Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> Team foreign. <laughs> Oh, Team fuck, his name the foreigner. Was Dubai? <laughs> You're kidding me, man. <laughs> Alright. He basically, hey, he basically said, I don't care if I break the rules, I'm gonna win the match. Yeah. He wasn't even a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they might as well have named him Team Boo This Non White Man. <laughs> yeah, what the hell, TNA? <laughs> No, that wasn't TNA. That was all wheels wrestling. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, it, it was 2011 copyright gut check. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> gut my check, bad. I was right. like, okay. That was Elliot Sadler number six. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we also had Team 720. This is Pulse's team right here. The dirt, <laughs> oh, my God. This is, the, this is the Dirt Bike Guys, which was led by Sanjay Dutt, who is known as Schwag D. <laughs> and Johnny's not just saying swag, like swag. No. It's actually spelled S-C-H-A-W-A-G-G. Yes, Schwag. Schwag. Sanjay Dutt, who I think Sanjay had the coolest look here. Uh, it was goofy, <laughs> but it was like it, the best it didn't look, look when you have the human cyclone, awesome Aaron Aguilera on the other <laughs> team. The human cyclone no, looked like hey, a, you, a big barbecue. A big choo -choo -choo -choo. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me RPM with the glasses on the mask wasn't better than the glasses swaggy. on the mask was cool. But Give me a Sanjay, break. dude, Sanjay had all this paint on his face like a dirt bike. Sanjay boy. Dunn, or swag, 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 D. What's a, thank swag you. D. <laughs> Was just Sanjay <laughs> Dutt with 720 paint on his head. This shit looked awesome. <laughs> she looked like. <laughs> oh. His gimmick was I'm Sanjay <laughs> Dutt with. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's Johnny, this sucked. What are you that talking shit about? Ruled. Dude, tell them what they're inspired. What is Sanjay? What is oh, yeah, they're, they're they're inspired, inspired by? by BMX, yeah. wakeboarding, and snowboarding, dude. Bro, I won't dis you won't disrespect Swag D and his baby bop <laughs> gear. <laughs> So imagine Sanjay <laughs> Dutt with 720 on his head. That's it. That's it. Oh my god! The best and part last... of Team 720's bit like the little intro they did was they had Barry Nobles, pro BMX cruiser rider. He goes, "I cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait to watch Always Wrestling." <laughs> He said always wrestling. Yeah. That's Dang just total nonstop action. That's just another way of saying TNA. Always wrestling. <laughs> That's why they named it that. Holy yes, shit. Yes, there you go. Always wrestling. Oh, oh. God. Thank but you, last, Barry last Nobles. Last but not least, team number four, Team Dino, which was the <laughs> monster truck team. Led Dirt bikes by, and Supercross as well. I thought the team 720 was dirt bikes. No, dirt, dirt tracks. Dirt Dirt, dirt track. Tra oh, mm. you piece of track. <laughs> 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 Team Dino, led by this. Okay, so this guy gets named four different things during this show, but we will start off by calling him the Human Cyclone, who is those of you that, I mean, I guess his most popular stint was being Jesus in WWE and stabbing hey, John Zeus. Cena. Hey, yeah. Zeus. He, he stabbed, stabbed John Cena. He stabbed John Cena. Aaron Aguilera. Uh, that is, um, sorry, he was also in WSX. <laughs> a former six-time WCW <laughs> Human Cyclone Awesome Austin Aguilera Yes, was they he? call him Austin. Ford, Austin they, Awesome Aaron Aguilera They called him Austin at one the point The Human Cyclone really Awesome Austin right. Aaron Aguilera yes. might, I said, Honestly, 
I do remember them fucking. I think I remember hearing Austin as well. So you might be right. I think his West. shoot name might be Austin Aguilera, right? I I don't know him like that. I thought his shoot <laughs> name was Jesus. <laughs> He's Jesus to me. <laughs> so uh, there's three matches on this show. There's two speed matches, and there's one big air challenge. <laughs> you never <laughs> guess what that is. <laughs> if. I want you all don't to tell, think right don't now. Tell, don't tell. Yeah, I, all yeah, right, don't I'll, tell. I'll wait till we get there. All right, that's fine. But speed matches are uh, five minute matches where you gotta win quickly. It's a five minute Iron Man match with points. Uh, it's really, I didn't hate the idea. I really didn't. It just I didn't know it, it was an Iron Man match when I started watching this though. Yeah, they didn't. They told they us the really... points before they told us the time limit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I thought I was like, "Damn, he lost pretty quick." <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's what I thought too. Yeah, into an STO too. Like the fuck. <laughs> yeah, but before before they did this, they wrote. Okay, so this show is full of B roll. So ton of it. Yeah, dude. just ton of B roll in between the three matches they had. They, the speed matches were five minutes long each. So like they had a lot of time to fill in these shows. Yeah. So it was a lot of cutting back to like BMX racers and monster truck and interviews and, and bullshit. Yeah. So they roll a bunch of B-roll here, and one of these really stood out to me here. So they had Cameron Steele. Uh, <laughs> who That's is my the dude. I was telling you. Premier, Cameron Steele. Yeah, Cameron Steele, the premier trophy truck racer. He goes, uh, he, they ask him about wrestling. He goes, well, do any wrestlers really stand out to me? No. I just respect <laughs> Like you can name You're Stone watching Cold, all wheels wrestling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wrestlers really stand out to me. Mm, no, I just respect all the wrestlers, and I'm like, what did you keep that in for? All wrestlers matter. <laughs> Always wrestling. I feel like he said someone from WWE, and like they were just like, bro, shut the fuck yeah, up. Oh bro. my god, bro, just I say really Jay like John Lethal. Cena right now. He's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, just, just say one of the guys on this show. <laughs> you have met four wrestlers, Cameron Steele. Name one of the four. John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sting. <laughs> Even that would have worked. <laughs> that would have worked <laughs> fine. Yeah, anything. Oh, I also forgot to say that Hermie Sadler was also on on commentary here, giving his input, like when he said, "I love stock car racing." <laughs> Thank yeah, you. He really Hermie. had a lot of really great lines, like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "Whoa!" That's also one of them. <laughs> Ski whoa. <laughs> So, uh, we get into the, after all this fucking interview stuff, so many interviews, just interviewing uh, race car driver number seven and 14 and his father as well. Elliot and wrestling or two. And how wrestling and uh, motorsports have so much crossover. I don't know where the crossover is. But Jeff Hardy used to ride a dirt bike. Yeah, he, that's cool. That's the only injury he ever got in his whole wrestling career <laughs> yeah, was, was on a dirt bike. <laughs> Undertaker drove a motorcycle, I guess. <laughs> Dude, this so whole show interview... was filled with... Yes. <laughs> and then there was... Like, I was so... Like, by the end of the show, if I ever hear the burning tires sound effect ever again, I'm going to just... I can't deal with it no more. I've seen Power I'll Rangers Turbo. On fire. <laughs> Power Rangers Turbo was rough. This was... This was 30 oh. minutes, and I heard it every single time. Because they used the same transition on b-roll so usually when you yes. do b-roll you know you would cut from the b-roll to the next b-roll without anything in between it they would go <laughs> b they would go you're watching <laughs> all wheels wrestling <laughs> you're watching all, we <laughs> all wheels wrestling <laughs> I'm like, oh my now god we're go to, bro now we're gonna go to a replay <laughs> yeah for all of everything just take the damn car somewhere else <laughs> Oh man, so, I, I do want to say though that oh, during all these hype things, there was a, a great one-liner drop that said, "If you go into the ring flat, you'll end up flat on your back." Oh shit! Great I love it. <laughs> yeah. oh, I wish somebody would have done that. Even when they showed the nameplates for the wrestlers, it goes. Yeah, <laughs> all the sound effects. <laughs> Sheesh, bro. I wish they would have really just did monster truck racing. And I do each too. Other. That's what I wanted this to be. All wheels racing. So today we're taking out Jay Lethal and Sanjay Dutt. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to have them race. <laughs> like, that would have rolled. <laughs> Fuck the wrestling stuff. Are you kidding me? So we go to our first matchup, our first speed match of the night, representing Team Defiance, Dubai. Boo. Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> taking on Team Octane's captain, RPM. And now yeah. a speed. Yeah. A you can speed call him match. whatever he wants. Our, 
<laughs> this is J.R. Lethal. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> So speed matches are five minutes long and are an opportunity for teams to score a lot of points quickly. Wrestlers earn, point, earn points based on the result of each fall during speed matches. Uh, so they give you like they give us the rundown during the match of how people can earn points. So the match is like halfway done before you find out what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I didn't five, know. The, I, so I didn't you, get it right away. I was like, yes. Do you get so, points if you win the match? No, you get points no matter what. Like right, unless yeah. you do nothing. Right. So if you if you <laughs> if you tap somebody out, you get five points. If you win by pinfall, you get four points. If it goes to a time limit draw, both get three points. Then this is where I got real confused because this isn't how numbers work. They go five, four, three, minus two points if you get DQ, <laughs> and then one point if you win via countout. Why the fuck you couldn't have like done this like minus two in the middle of all this? <laughs> Is they could have put this at the end or anything? Five, so four, that's three, how... two, one. Yeah. So five, this four, is also three, before they two, tell us one. there's a time limit and that there is more than one way to win. There's more than one fall in the match. <laughs> yes. So, so it's all, all I'm thinking jarring. is this is the Bound for Glory series as well. I was thinking in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, exactly yeah. what it says. Psych, bitch, because immediately <laughs> you get into the match and it just things start firing off. It's a whole Bound for Glory series in one match. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it gets crazy later on. Oh, it's also a six-sided ring, by the way. Yeah, uh, it's not TNA, did they bring though. this? Did they bring six sides back during this era of TNA? I don't remember. No. No. Really? What the okay. hell? Yeah. No, so, because they, what was it? Genesis 2010? They said, get the playpen ring out of here, brother. Yeah, I don't, unless, I, so that, I guess, unless they were like, you know, we got this gimmick ring, it's pretty over. Let's that had to be what and, they did. They, that had yeah. to be what they did. They had, like, this must have been in a separate sound stage. May, yeah, what well, was that, the red line? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah my bad somewhere in orlando so uh the while everyone's doing their entrance they have like a big wheel spinning in the middle of the rig on fire fire cool. so that's cool rpm comes out where and he's got a mask on with glasses attached to it and he comes out and they speed up the footage because he's so fast so he's going, <laughs> he runs to the ring <laughs> yes runs to the ring uh glasses on the mask kind of cool um then here comes Dubai and the fans hate Dubai. Why? Well, what do you Dubai? think? Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> well, because what do you it comes think? out to Rhino's theme song with cars on it. <laughs> oh God, well that's better than what his TNA theme song was. <laughs> oh my God, not the TNA. <laughs> So it's a again, it's a five minute match. So it's pretty much a sprint. This fucking match, they're just doing shit. RPM well, it's a wins speed with speed match, of course. It yeah, would be a sprint. RPM gets uh, four points via pinfall with an STO. The fans are booing Dubai like out of immediately, the like yeah. within seconds of the match yeah, happening. Like this very it's called quickly. the slingshot, by the way. Know your names. Johnny. Is that what he called it? Yes. That is what oh, JB sorry. called it. Oh well, I'm out of the slingshot. Sorry, JB <laughs> did not know Maybe. any of the moves. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. Than <laughs> oh, he did know one move actually. When Dubai gets the next fall with the DDT, guess the what Dubai's DDT? finish is called. What's it called? The WMDDT. Of course it Fuck! is. Fuck! Dubai! <laughs> <laughs> what did they do to this guy, man? And then they, after, just after he says that, they go to replay. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> also, there's, this is also something they didn't say because it only sometimes happened. There's meant to be a 10 second rest period between each fall. But they don't stop the timer, and sometimes they don't do it. <laughs> so it's like any Iron Man match is supposed to be a rest period, I think, right? Yeah, but but they, there's sometimes there just wasn't. But they cut the replay, and then yeah. I think they just were like, all right. It's like Texas death matches. Maybe or maybe not we'll do rest period. No, <laughs> yeah, we'll call it on the fly. Yeah, Honestly, out. for a quick, like, you know, cut five-minute match, this wasn't bad at all. Like, this was a – they did a lot of shit. RPM, like, killed Dubai with an insecurity to the face. <laughs> like, kind of <laughs> awesome. Uh, he did, like, the Samoa Joe. He did, like, a sunset for a two count and then the Samoa Samo Joe style, like, Boston Crab. That looked kind of cool. You and got five du points for that one. Dubai. Yes. Tapped out. Five points for RPM, and RPM wins nine to four. Uh, so that's his team gets what was nine. What was the psychology here? I was just trying win, to figure that out. Get, RPM, get, RPM pins Dubai with an STO in the first 30 seconds, and then he <laughs> kicks out of a sunset flip powerbomb down the stretch? What the fuck is going on? 
There, hey, is, no, there is no it, psychology. This and then he turns us into a Boston crab. <laughs> it's always was wrestling. Like, it was it was the Samoa Joe style one too. So he's not even really hooking his legs. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Then they show off the all wheels wrestling big cup. It was a big cup, um, and it had stripes on it. Cool. Yeah. I wrote here uh, more interviews. Go fuck yourself, Chad Reed and Cameron Steele. <laughs> 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 they run down the rules again and they're they're talking about the matches and they're playing yes. I'm a man with the plan yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Kendrick's theme just playing behind all these interviews while everyone's talking about how wrestling and motocross should run each other over with the fuck they're talking about <laughs> and then they advertise the most dangerous match in pro wrestling oh. the big air challenge worth 20 points ooh We'll have to find out what that is later on. <laughs> this motherfucker's name was Dubai, bro. I just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can I, yes. Can I also tell on. you something. They, they uh, I don't know if you'll get to this in the next match, but they kind of shoehorned this into this. Uh, what? Not the big air, but what's the the speed uh, match? Yes. Th that if uh, somebody gets twenty points in a speed match, the other person will not make it to the main event. Wait, what? Yes. Oh wow, that was an. They just needed some drama for that match. I guess, yes, they I, did. <laughs> so, like during the match, they like shoehorn mentioned that. Oh yeah, if uh, twenty points, then uh, <laughs> Swag D's not going to the big what game. Every uh, Sadler hell? probably made that up. <laughs> yeah, every Sadler said, "I'm a. I don't want. I don't want Team Seven Twenty in this main event. Fuck out of here." Every Sadler, every Sadler started taking. He probably had to retake that a hundred times. Man, he was probably like, "All right, if uh, Swag D gets pinned one time, it's over." <laughs> if, <laughs> I hate that so if, if Team Dino loses, everybody dies. Whoa, <laughs> Hermie. What the fuck, Hermie? You can't do no. Hermie, you gotta take stop. Stop. So the next speed match is Team Dino, which is captained by human cyclone awesome Aguilera. <laughs> Austin Austin Aguilera. Which, which his, what do you think of his outfit? He had a big mask yeah, with man. a grill with a yeah. with a grill on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'll be honest with you. He's the best. He's my favorite dude on the card. He had the big flame yeah. pants. Yeah. You want know like Swag D? Swag D. Seven twenty. Seven twenty, bro. Seven twenty. Yeah. If he pointed, if he pointed to seven twenty and stuck his tongue out, he'd be your favorite. Uh, <laughs> dude, he, he was halfway there. Are you kidding me? You're right. He yeah, did. he was halfway there. <laughs> He, he did a flip it. within the first minute and then pointed to the 720 on his head. He said, look at this. <laughs> yeah, bitch. So Swag yes, D. Was, uh... Swag D's nuts. <laughs> yeah, I was about Come on, man. Fuck. Got you. <laughs> Leave him alone. Damn, Appa bro, apparently, buddy. it was supposed to be swag, but he added in a D. I looked that up, too. It was supposed to be swag. Oh, said, just swag. swag. D. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Did, yeah. Was Dubai supposed to be anything else, or is just Dubai? <laughs> yeah, Dubai was probably, I don't know, it was supposed to be like Iraq or something. They were like, no, nah, <laughs> Dubai will Woke. be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> local foreign heel. Yeah, like, come <laughs> on, bro. Why you do this my man Dubai like this, man? <laughs> so, yeah, it was uh, Human Cyclone, also Aaron Austin Aguilera against <laughs> Swag D. <laughs> he had as many nicknames as he got pins in this one. <laughs> Dude, so Swag D immediately hits a moonsault at the start of the match and almost dies doing it. <laughs> I wrote here, what the fuck is a human cyclone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is just human cyclone destroying Swag D this whole match. He gets four points after he fucking... Swag D hits a springboard, or misses a springboard... A springboard? <laughs> it's a springboard splash, and uh, human cyclone gets the knees up, and he pins him off of it. So he loses there. He gets hit with a choke breaker for a pinfall. It's another four points. Another one. Uh, fucking Swag D then hits like a move and then starts taunting like he's in the lead for anything. Yeah. This motherfucker wasting time gets caught by Cyclone, gets hit with his finishing move, the Cyclone sit down power bomb. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> he also at one point does a Cyclone spinning kick. I don't know if it was this match or later, but it was in a big air challenge. Apparently, all of his moves big are called Cyclone. Yes. <laughs> So he gets another four points. He puts the master lock in. There's like 10 seconds left. He doesn't get the submission, but human cyclone gets 16 points here. Uh, That's where the drama came in, because if yes. there was one more, if you would have submitted, it would have been over for and Swag D. He wouldn't have because, made it to the big air yes. match. And all of these guys are going to be in the main event. So Team 720's Swag D is going into the main with no points. What will happen here? I wonder. Team Dino has 16 points, Team Octane has 9 points, Team Defiance has 4 points, and Team 720 has 0 points going into the main. Then, 
They go and they're interviewing the guys about the upcoming match. They ask Human Cyclone, how does winning affect your approach? <laughs> what the uh-huh. fuck does that? I will do it again. <laughs> he also says, I'm agile, mobile, and hostile. Oh, shit. That's like a suicidal, homicidal, genocidal. Yes, agile, Modern day mobile, Sabu. hostile. <laughs> Modern day Sabu, Aaron, awesome Austin Aguilera sauce. He also he said, cyclone. "He also said in monster trucks we got a say." And I said, "Oh, here it goes." He oh goes, no! If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I said, "What? Oh, you didn't dude. make that up? <laughs> <laughs> you did not invent that word." You know what? In motocross, we have a saying: "To be the man." <laughs> You gotta be Four them, score and seven years ago, <laughs> as we said in dirt bike racing. Hermie Sadler <laughs> says, I have a dream <laughs> that one day pro wrestling and As across. we say in BMXing, if you smell what the rock is cooking. <laughs> I'm Kurt Angle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's also, while they're interviewing Human Cyclone, there's a sign in the back that says, lap this. <laughs> <laughs> this is tremendous. Lap this and yes. shake and bake were the best signs. Shake yeah. and bake, yes. Shake and bake. Lap um, this, that's great. I missed that one. Uh, so they go, they just cut into random fucking interviews, just interviewing everyone about the oh, Big Air Challenge. Uh, what does it take to win? Uh, <laughs> Dubai said he was saving himself for the main event. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Swag, you know what Swag D said? He said, <laughs> <laughs> What did he say? Swag D says, Yeah, I got my ass whipped for five minutes straight. That's true. But he says, My specialty is big air. And it just oh. so happens that this is the big <laughs> air <a> coincidence. <laughs> And you know what they say don't turn your back on a wolf pack. <laughs> That's what the big air specialists say. <laughs> they say big Papa big Pump is your hookup. <laughs> Yo, the magic design for him, bro. You can't stop your Bibles. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, Don West said, let's go to Swag D and hear his strategy. And his strategy was to get more points. <laughs> I will <laughs> win. <laughs> Great. <laughs> no. So, the big air challenge, ladies and gentlemen is the ultimate X match, but instead of a big X, it's a big W. <laughs> it's the All Wheels Wrestling logo. Yes, the big W. Big air challenge. Start your engines, they say. <laughs> They're all standing there. No entrances, by the way. They're all just yeah. in the ring. Uh, the match starts everyone, but Human Cyclone starts climbing the gimmicks because he's not fucking doing that. <laughs> I thought it was and- cool that they started with the 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 noise, like Mario Kart. Yeah, Burp. I agree. Burp. I was like, oh, they okay, didn't do, did they do that for the other matches? I don't think they did. No, it was just a big air challenge. <laughs> yes. Did you? Um, the, so, I mean, I've watched a lot of Ultimate X matches, uh, probably all of them. Mm-hmm. Did this seem a little shaky to you? <laughs> the um, X itself? I actually, I actually it, wrote, what, like the I actual like platform? The, no, like the structure felt yeah, like yeah, the structure was like uh, wobbly yeah, yeah. a lot. I yeah, felt yeah. like it was gonna like collapse in on itself at any point. I think <laughs> well, they, they gave up that. on spots after that. Yeah, yeah, I think they. Yeah, they also did that cage thing where they lowered it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they did, did they? do that. Yeah. Oh God! Which I didn't yeah. know they lowered it that way. I thought it was like a. I feel like they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they did that just for that shot, and that's why. And it that's probably why it was all wobbly. Yeah. yeah. yeah oh my God! That was a Hermie Sadler call. <laughs> yeah, lowered from the sky. It's just like in Mario Kart when you come in from the. Oh, like a little cloud. Yeah, <laughs> pretty, yeah it's just like that. Herbie Sadler, said, that's Herbie Sadler brings a cloud. He's riding on a cloud with Sanjay. Schwagdi. Yeah, leave Schwagdi alone, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, so Human Cyclone is just being a big man in this match, just dragging everyone down anytime they go up. Uh, Dubai did a dive on Human Cyclone on the floor, and then he climbed the. He climbed. Dubai climbed like up. To the thing from the outside post, I was like, "That's kind of crazy." Um, they said RPM's going for the big dub. <laughs> nice. Cool. Uh, Swag D did a springboard drop kick to RPM, who was like climbing up. That looked kind of cool. Um, Hermie sat then, the, so everyone's like dying at this point. Like everyone's just doing spots, mm-hmm. flipping the outside, just dying. And then they say, "Well, Hermie Sadler's going to go to ringside now." I'm like, "What the fuck is yeah, he doing that hell? <laughs> So Hermie Sadler's going to get a match. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I will win for Swaggy. <laughs> they go to a commercial break and they come back 
And during the commercial, Hermie Sadler interviewed RPM and pretty much said, the fuck are you getting your ass kicked for? Get what are you up. doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Help. I don't this I wish wrestling I wish there was more of this in wrestling. I oh my, would love to well, see. My, my favorite thing about this was that he interviewed RPM because Hermie Sadler's favorite kind of racing is stock car racing. <laughs> so, so he's, he's, oh, he's yeah. biased. Yeah, he's, he's biased. biased. He's a big RPM wow. guy. <laughs> what kind of fucking name is Hermie? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of name is Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of name is Schwag? Yo, leave Schwag D alone, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, we we like Schwag D. What the hell is wrong with you, bro? Well, I'm a human cyclone <laughs> fan all the way. Team Wait Dino. Ride or die with Team Dino. So I, a, yeah, I agree with you. Aguilera Aguilara is my man. That's my dude, and he's crazy. Oh, the stone cold ass yeah, Aguilera. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can call him whatever you want. He's like, Jesus. <laughs> He's a, he's Cold Red Austin Jesus. <laughs> At one point, uh, fucking Dubai catches Swag D like from like he's going up for the the big dub and he the pulls swag him down. Dub, and yeah, he does like a fucking bucko bomb and kills him with it. It was crazy. Um, then fucking uh, human cyclone Satan choke breakers just because he can. He chops RPM who was hanging upside down on the thing for some reason. I don't yeah, remember got, how he got there. He got his foot hooked. Someone hooked his oh, foot yes. and he was hanging what one foot. Yes. Then human cyclone climbs to the top rope, and I'm like, "There's no fucking way, this fucking guy is going to be able to pull this off." And then not he wins all, the whole match, and that's not, it. <laughs> and no. Then he wins. He, I was very impressed. <laughs> no. <laughs> human cyclone grabs the rope above him, and behind him is Swag D. <laughs> I'm like, "No way, bro!" <laughs> Swag D climbs on his back, and human cyclone tries his best to fucking drag himself across this rope. He gets maybe an inch away from where he was, and they both fall and almost <laughs> blow both their fucking knees out. <laughs> what the It was fuck? brutal. It looked What sick. were they thinking there? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> like, I don't know how they thought that was going I guess I've work. never seen that spot in Ultimate X match. That was cool. I mean, it's probably for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, Swag D yeah. in, in the speed match is going to steal Sanjay Dutt's moon stomp at one point. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> well, he didn't want, you know, he can't take big moves. <laughs> uh, Swag D and RPM were fighting on the gimmick. Then Dubai comes after them. All three are fighting up there. Uh, and then RPM hits a fucking neck breaker. Both of them are hanging upside down on the fucking Ultimate X thing. A neck breaker off of this thing. And uh, Swag D picks up the win. What a surprise. This was his match. <laughs> big 20 <laughs> points. Big air, 20 points, puts his team in the lead. From worst to first, they said on commentary. <laughs> I can't believe it. Everybody loves an underdog. Yes, that's true. Um, so to hype up for the next weeks, they said there's going to be a different... So I, I guess there was supposed to be a different gimmick match in the main event every week along with two speed matches. So yeah, they were going to... We... Yeah, I don't know what it was going to be, <laughs> uh, but it was going to be more bullshit, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, and really, I, more, guess, I guess, I guess, yeah, there's a little more afterwards. I guess to connect with the audience, they had a bunch of oh, white guys yeah. riding through the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and started stomping out Dubai? I don't know why. <laughs> so, I, don't, I must have missed that part. Yeah, I don't think. Some motocross it. thing they said. It's a big motocross fan thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's, oh, they were blood in, blood out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, and then they like all picked up shit. Dubai and carried him above their head. <laughs> and they all went to the Super <laughs> weird. It was real weird. Yeah, that was real yeah. fucking weird. It, they, they were masks and shit. It was real weird. Yeah, they put they them had, you like know, piano the, wire on Austin Aguilar. <laughs> real, real weird. Where the where the W was, they just crucified Dubai. Yeah, what the <laughs> <laughs> then a bunch of motorcycles came out and started driving around the ring. <laughs> it <was> crazy. <laughs> and Hermie Sadler t t took his pants off. <laughs> Swung him around his head. Put on a hood or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. The show never got picked up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe that's there's something to this. I don't know. I heard CMG trying to pick it up, but it just... <laughs> <laughs> I think they tried to put it on CBS. <laughs> this is a whole Kogi project. <laughs> CBS didn't even want to deal with that, Tony. No, CBS. <laughs> Oh my god. So there you go. We end up with Team 720, 20 points. Team oh. Dino, 16 points. Team Octane, 9 points. And Team Defiance, 4 points. And that's where it ends. So Team 720, <laughs> in canon, won the big cup. <laughs>